Hello and welcome to Charge Chat. I'm Paul Charchian from LeagueSafe.com. Thanks for joining us here at Open Sports. Uh, it's the time of the week when I talk about some of the free agent guys that you might want to go get to help your fantasy squad. Only two weeks left in the season, so it's a little easier to really analyze the schedule and, and pick out guys that have easy matchups the rest of the way and some people that are generally not available. In fact, I don't think eh, three of these guys for sure are not available in your league, almost certainly, and one of them maybe. Here we go. Let's start at the top, the quarterback position. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Now, he's just got done playing a murderer's row of opposing defenses. Get this. In his last five games, he's all five of his opponents have been in the top seven against the pass, and yet Fitzpatrick's played okay. Through, uh, had, you know, scored a couple of touchdowns last week, and overall has looked pretty darn good. Now, the, the remaining schedule, very easy. He's got Cleveland, then Kansas City. So, um, I kind of like Fitzpatrick, and I, I, I believe that, that he's made nice strides over the course of the season and has some pretty favorable matchups. Cleveland just middle of the road, and Kansas City a uh, bottom third pass defense. So there's some good opportunities for Ryan Fitzpatrick if you're looking for a sleeper. Also at the quarterback position, Chad Pennington. Now, I know, Chad Pennington is as boring as it gets, but, but hear me out, for the right kind of team, I think he makes some sense. Now, if your squad is otherwise very good and you just don't want to see your quarterback do something stupid, like throw a bunch of interceptions or throw out a goose egg or something, Chad Pennington could just be a that one of those guys where you're going to get your touchdown and you're going to get your 180 yards and nothing's going to go totally haywire on you. He's only been shut out in two of his last 12 games, so you're very likely to get at least one one score, and that very that certainly helps. His next two opponents are Kansas City and the Jets. Kansas City uh, ranks... 30th against the pass and 30th against points allowed. The Jets rank 29th against the pass. So very easy schedule uh, for uh, for Pennington. So you may want to give him some thought as well. Again, for the right kind of team, if you're otherwise very strong, you don't want to have like a Brett Favre of a quarterback, somebody that could throw a bunch of picks and materially hurt your team. You just want rock steady performance. Then Chad Pennington's probably your guy. All right, let's go to uh, the kicker position. It's going to be two quarterbacks and two kickers today. Um, Jason Hansen. Yes, the winless Lions kicker, Jason Hansen, has kicked eight 50-yard field goals this year. Eight. He hasn't missed any. He's eight for eight from over 50. So if your scoring system rewards long field goals, you know, he could make some sense. And as Despite the fact that the, the Lions are winless, they're usually hanging pretty tight in a lot of their games until the very end when they roll over. And so the field goal kicker has been in play for, for the Lions in almost every game. And the last two games, New Orleans at home and then Green Bay, and both of those teams um, give up a lot of points and a lot of opportunities. So uh, give some thought to Jason Hansen. The other guy, and I probably like this one a little bit better, Garrett Hartley. And I, I know he's not a household name, but he is the Saints kicker, so you know, you know you're going to get a lot of opportunities. He averages two field goals made and three extra points made per game. He has yet to miss a field goal while with the Saints. And the Saints play the Lions, which I just mentioned, and then they come back at home for their finale. Uh, so you don't have any weather concerns. It's an indoor game and an indoor game. So uh, Garrett Haley, somebody you could pick up and, and get some good play on. So there you go. Uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, Chad Pennington, Jason Hansen, Garrett Haley are your four sleeper guys for this week. And oh, one other thing, um, you know, we're talking about quarterbacks and and kickers, uh, a lot of you for your tiebreakers for uh, your tiebreakers for the fantasy playoffs will use a designated player on your bench or the total of your bench points. Quarterbacks and kickers are the best guys to have on your bench because they score points every week. And so you're always going to get points. And you can easily designate any of these guys as your overtime player or your tiebreaker player. Or just keeping uh, extra quarterbacks and kickers on your in your backfield makes a ton of sense. Uh, if you're using backups and their points as a tiebreaker, and that's, uh, that's a lot of why I'm, I'm, I'm working on this position, those two positions uh, uh, exclusively today. So there you go. Thanks. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll be uh, back midweek. We'll also be looking at the Thursday game. And uh, even at the end of the week, we'll, uh, we'll preview the uh, Saturday game as well. So uh, plenty of uh, fun and different stuff coming up on Charge Chat here at Open Sports. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.